Hello, my name is Katie Wardrobe and this is a Music Tech Tips tutorial. In two earlier tutorials, we looked at creating drum parts in Sibelius the quick way, by using the Ideas window and by using the Add Drum Pattern plugin. Today, we'll create a drum part like this from scratch. I've set up a score here which has a drum set stave. The drum pattern I'm going to create has two rhythmically independent parts on the same stave. In Sibelius, these independent parts are known as voices. We'll use voice 1, which has stems pointing up, for the parts of the drum kit played with the hands, such as cymbals or the snare drum. Voice 2, with stems pointing down, will be used for the parts of the drum kit played with the feet, such as the bass drum. We'll start off by entering the hi-hat part. Click on the quaver on Sibelius's keypad, and then click in the space on the top of the drum kit stave to create the first hi-hat note. Don't worry for now that there was no sound when you entered the note, or that the stem is pointing down. Continue to enter quavers until you've filled up the first bar. In order for the snare drum part to make a sound, we need to change the note heads to crosses. Press escape twice to make sure you have nothing selected. Next, we'll click in an empty place in the bar so that there is a blue box around the entire first bar. Go to Window, Properties, and click on the Notes tab. From this drop down menu, select note head number 1, which looks like a cross and then press escape. Now when I play back my score, I can hear the hi-hat sound. To add the snare drum part, select the third hi-hat quaver and type Shift 5 to add a note a fifth below the hi-hat note. While the new note is still selected, change it back to a normal note head by selecting note head 0 from the Note Heads drop down menu in the Properties window. Add another snare drum note to the seventh quaver in the same way. Once again, while it's still selected, I'll change the note head back to a normal note head from the Properties window. To finish off our drum pattern, we'll add the bass drum part. First, press Escape to make sure you have nothing selected. We need to enter the bass drum into Voice 2. So select Voice 2 on the keypad here. You can also use the shortcut Alt 2 or Option 2 on a Mac. Select the crotchet on the keypad and then click on the first beat of the bar. As soon as the bass drum part is entered, the Voice 1 stems will automatically point upward. You'll also notice that Voice 2 notes are green. Enter another crotchet on beat 3 in the same way and press escape when you've finished. You can make your hi-hat pattern sound more interesting by adding an open hi-hat sound. First, select the hi-hat note and then navigate to the fourth layout on Sibelius's keypad. Click on the open sign to add it to your selected note. I'll add one to this note as well. When I play back my drum pattern, Sibelius will play the open sound as notated. Now that the pattern is complete, you can copy and paste it into the other bars by pressing R for repeat.